So, all right, we'll start here, I guess. Sure. All right, the bless event was yesterday, and we're going over all the skills for each class, talking to chat, and uh, answering some questions. So next up is Paladin. We're gonna go over the non-stance skills first, and then we'll go over the combo chains and see how they feel. So first up, we have Holy Explosion. 30 second cooldown, deals damage to enemies within a five meter radius and knocks them back. All right, sure, a little knockback, pretty long cooldown. Purify, remove all poison, curse, wound effects from allies, continues to remove all poison, curse, and wound effects from allies at regular intervals, text up to three times. That sounds really nice. 20 second cooldown, cure all, sounds good to me. Transcend, 90 second cooldown. You are now able to cast spells while moving for seven seconds, grants immunity to all CC and position control effects, and gives you 20% move speed. It is a pretty long cooldown, but it's pretty strong. I guess it only lasts seven seconds, but one thing uh, I've been talking about is the non-stance skills have a lot of enhancements that you can do on them. So you could very easily have an enhancement that increases the duration, increases the move speed, adds more immunity, damage reduction. We didn't get to see all of them, but lots of possibilities with that. <laughs> Hashtag scripted. Uh, okay. Res, this is... Uh, what is this minute two and a half two and a half minute cooldown res is the dead ally 30 percent health and mana can't be used in the arena sure you can use this in combat uh so that's not bad four second cast time you know if you think you'll need a res endure non-targeting skill maximum mana 30 second cooldown removes all detrimental timed effects for the duration of the effect grants immunity to all effects including position control effects such as floating heals the caster during the skill effect during. Uh, this I believe is their shift chat can correct me if I'm wrong I believe this is their shift on JP so once again it's similar to guardian where it doesn't quite say that it removes CC if you're in CC, it says removes detrimental timed effects. Is that, I don't really know. Uh, and grants immunity. It doesn't say how long it lasts. Uh, on JP, you hold it and you channel it for duration. I don't know, very poorly worded. So that's your, I assume CC break. Uh, Cause that's what it is on JP. 90 second cooldown on sacred ground. Cover the caster surroundings with divine power for 10 seconds. Reduces damage dealt to allies in the sacred ground by 30% and reduces move speed of enemies. Okay, sure. All these have pretty hefty cooldowns. So, yeah. 20 second cooldown on concentration. Reduces the cooldown time. Crusaders will fanaticism, prayer, devotion, benevolence by 30%. Is this a passive? Is this an active? It has a 20 second cooldown, so I assume it's an active. If it's a flat, if it's a percent reduction of cooldowns, that means it gets worse the lower your cooldowns are. In the sense of like, if you use it, it's super strong at 10 seconds, but if you only have like five seconds left, it gets worse, right? So it reduces a lot of cooldowns, but there's no way you can optimize it to hit a lot of them at once. Uh, oh, we were missing one more. So this is the Japan version of the other non-stance skill in the game which is your you buff your party around you with attack and spell power 25 percent for 25 seconds so most likely it's the same icon it's probably more or less the same exact thing fits with the theme of all these non-stance skills like dots and cc you think for uh endure uh do your work i'm trying man so all of these seem super situational uh, I, I guess you keep Endure at all times, probably Purify, Holy Explosion for PvP, Sacred Ground for Mass PvP, or Group PvE, Transcend seems pretty solid to keep around, Res is pretty situational, Concentration is like a filler if there's nothing else you want, and then the AoE attack power buff, so 
All in all, I think Pallies have a pretty decent uh, selection of non-stance skills, kind of stuff you pick up here and there. Not bad. Like I said, there are non-stance skill enhancements, which could completely change things work. This could go from 30% to 50% or more. This could add more skills and they get reduced. They're all up in the air right now. No idea. So, Pally stances. Initial impressions of Pally, it seems DPS got better. Um, healing, I don't wanna say got worse, but it seems a little more awkward or clunky now. It definitely, healers weren't in mind with the combo system, I think is the best way to put it. So, yeah. So let's start with the DPS stance one. We've got our basic attack into a basic attack, pretty straightforward. And then we have chastise, deals damage to the enemy. If the enemy is already affected by divine punishment or smash effects, other nearby enemies will gain this effect. If I remember correctly, these should be, yes, okay. So these are your dots as a pally. Basically what this does is spreads your dots into an AOE. Hell yeah, that sounds good as shit, right? No cooldown here, uh, 1.5 second on strike, but no cooldowns here. So that means you can refresh your dots and keep spreading them all around. Doesn't say the range on this. Uh, nearby is usually probably like five meters, not super big, but yeah, that sounds pretty solid to me. Nice AOE damage. Uh, the other AOE damage was, I believe, penalize, and it's not, I don't really like it on JP, but this is this seems pretty solid. Pallies have some really nice dots. Uh, verdict, this is knockback, targeted knockback, melee range. So you do an auto attack, then you can knock back. Conviction, is this the jump? Yeah, so the way this works on JP, and same here it looks like, when you knock someone back, you then can activate, this is a follow up, up to 11 meters. It's a movement cooldown, but can only be used after the knockdown. So they removed the knockdown requirement, but you have to use the knockdown before you use it. Um, these don't have a cooldown. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. 1.5 seconds, no cooldown, no cooldown. <laughs> you think you're just gonna walk up to as a pally, auto attack, punt him, jump on him, punt him, jump on him, punt him, jump on him. I don't, I, I don't know. Something, I think some of these tooltips are just kinda off. I don't know if anyone saw a pally. <laughs> like killing stuff in the open world, but it sounds like you could spam this. I, I don't know. I don't see cooldown, so. Uh, retribution. This is your casted heal and damage. Uh, it doesn't state on here that you can do damage with it, but in a later tooltip it does. This one, deals damage when used against the enemy, heals when used on ally. This one only says heal and it's the DPS stance, so. Another tooltip error, not sure. Seven second cooldown. We've got our knockback again into div uh, sacred verdict. Sorry, it's divine on JP. This is your this is your go-to as a DPS pally. This is what your, I guess this is your bread and butter as a DPS pally. Um, three stacks of divine punishment, five stacks of smash. Those are your dots. That's your damage source. That's your, that's your big boy skill. You wanna keep that up. Uh, this has a 10 second cooldown. This has a seven second cooldown. So uh, the dots last a pretty good duration too. So that's pretty close, if not 100% uptime, I think. This is your really nice skill. Is there a picture of the skins in the Founders Pack? No, not, uh, not yet. Am I gonna make a guild? No. On the videos I'm finding the event, the tooltips seem to represent what happens in game. Yeah, so I don't know, dude. <laughs> Guardian has super short cooldowns, Pally, uh, this can't be right, right? I don't think, I haven't seen any sort of diminishing return on knockdowns and knockups. The only thing I've seen is stability, which reduces the chance of it happening, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these are the new any and EU skill stuff. You can check them in chat. Pally's running a lot of mana issues, they span abilities from some streams. I think that's because a lot of people didn't Realize how to get mana back. For example, on one of the mage skills, you needed to enhance your auto attack, your, sorry, I gotta not call it an auto attack, people get mad at that. You can enhance one of your basic attacks to regen mana when used. I'm guessing Pally has something very similar to that and people weren't aware of it. 
That's why they were running Oom. That's why mages were running Oom as well. They didn't know how to get mana back. And it is possible. Did they remove the stance skill, which makes them take extra damage? Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I've not looked through my, these too much, so we'll take a, we'll keep looking and see if it pops up. I have another question. Have they fixed the targeting for classes who need to switch allies to heal? I don't think the targeting changed at all. I don't know if anyone streamed healing in a dungeon. I don't think so, but yeah. Let me knock out these two and I'll read a little more chat. Execute attacks the enemy, dealing damage, solid damage. Well, I'm not gonna look at the tooltips, but you know what I mean. Additionally, if the enemy has the branded or verdict effect, the smash effect will also be applied. Dealing damage over time for 10 seconds, smash effect can stack up at five times. That's your normal dot. Branded or verdict. So it's in here somewhere. We haven't run across them yet. So I guess they're in here somewhere. I don't know quite how to do it. I see it over here, but. Uh, penalize. Deals damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius. Damage is increased by 10% against enemies with the Divine Punishment effect. Divine Punishment is your uh, dot. So think about this, right? You use Retribution. You use Verdict. This is casted, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. One second cast. Knock them back. Throw Sacred Verdict on them. Strike. Rapid Strike. Chastise. Spread your Divine Punishments everywhere. Retribution. Execute. Penalize. I can see what they're going for. Sounds pretty good. Uh, Alright, last stance, Branded. Inflicts Branded effect on the enemy, increasing damage dealt to the Branded target by 20%. So it is still in. This is uh, referring to this. Seven second cooldown. I believe this doesn't have a cooldown on JP, so that's kind of interesting. Behind it, we have Armor of Insight, a magic damage reduction, and immunity to Ensnare. I don't know what an Ensnare is. Hmm. I know what a root is. Position control, so that's like knock up, knock down. Prayer, immediately restore 50 mana. That sounds really low. I assume you can enhance that. Seeker's Devotion, temporarily increase Paladin's fighting power. So, DPS buff. Uh, Pally has some ranged attacks. They're a hybrid. Mostly melee, I think, range. Third skill in every stance usually has a mana recovery combo. Okay. Keep an eye on that. Healing class is Paladin, which is the one we're currently going. Worried for Ranger? We will be getting to Ranger in two more, so trust me, we'll talk about Ranger. No strikes, cooldowns, actually 1.5. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and Snare Coop is slow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know, man. You perma knock back someone? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so confused about some of this stuff. I don't know how they're just going to throw this at us with no playtesting. We'll see. Um, all right. DPS stance two. Verdict. Our knockback once again on a seven second cooldown. So I, I don't know what to say. Judgment. This is your ranged uh, attack. You like call down like a light beam. Applies divine punishment stacks for 10 seconds. Affected by branded or verdict. Divine Punishment stacks up to three times. Sacred Verdict, same thing as before. Gives us max stacks of our dots. Nice skill. Both of them are locked behind a three chain, though. So you gotta do a knockback, range attack, range attack. It's not bad. 25 meter, 20 meter. It's a nice little combo. Knock some away, start kiting, throw down the two AoEs, kite out the dots. Pretty cool. This is your same thing, the leap. Uh, you knock them back, jump on them if you want, and it reduces their move speed on this one. So, yeah. Execute, same as before. Uh, deal damage if they're branded or verdict. Smash effect applies damage effect. Same thing as before. Uh, Pally doesn't have much, I don't want to say diversity, but they pretty much have the same skills across the board. You can see, I mean, they only have, you know, two combos and then a couple two combos, right? So, two sets of combos and then two combos. Chast, chastisement, chast, chastisement chain. Okay, seven second cooldown. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. It's a five second root blocks enemies skill casting. I that should be only spells, so don't think you can block melee. This should only be spells, but I'm not sure. Also, apply chastisement chain prevents. It's a five second root. 
Chain gradually constricts the enemy and explodes, inflicting damage when dismissed on a seven second cooldown. Talk about kiting, boys. Talk about kiting. Maybe what's stopping you from spamming a skill is its high cost and mana energy or whatever source the class is using. Uh, that could very well be. This says maximum mana 20% consumption. Verdict is 15%. Could very well be. Force you to go through combos to get your uh, mana back. Judgment, same thing. Your ranged attack, single target. Execute, same thing. Fear strike, just a basic attack. Chastise, same thing as before. It will spread your dots in an AoE to nearby targets. If they had a publisher, the event probably would have been smoother in this early release, would probably be called beta, but I do having control does pay off for everyone. I, I think that's what we're all hoping for at this point, for sure. Uh, branded, same thing. Celestial Armor, different than Armor of Insight. We have a physical defense instead of magic defense. Immunity to, I guess, slows, roots, and knockups, knockdowns. Crusaders will increase Paladin's mana recovery for five seconds, so another mana buff at a combo. Fanaticism increased Paladin's critical hit by 50% for 5 seconds on a 10 second cooldown. I'm sorry, what? 50%? How, can a Paladin even take advantage of that? 5 seconds off the end of a combo, what could you do? What could you do in 5 seconds on a Paladin that would hit as hard as possible? Strike Verdict Conviction? I assume you'd want to use Execute, but I guess you'd have to pop it, cast Retribution, then Execute? <sighs> I don't know. Oh, this con- Oh, shit, dude. Fanaticism, Knockback, Leap, Execute, if you can get it off in five seconds. Oh. Yo, what's up, Kratha? Did you have a good time yesterday, dude? Dude, you helped me out so much getting Zerker's skills. No one else really played Zerker. Or, like, went through the skills, at least. Affect three ticks of Shred and Doom, and you could fit two executes. Do you know if this game snapshots or updates? Because I assume you put up the dots and then pop this, and it would update, but I don't know if this game is snapshotting. Yeah, heal skin crit. Verdict, Conviction, Execute. Yeah, that's that's a good call. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Paladin can crit hits, dots, and that gotta be OP. I don't think their dots can crit. Two one second combo. Yeah, this one seems really strong. Get up your uh, Sacred Verdict from like uh, this, Stance Swap, Brand Them, Fanaticism, another Knockback, Jump, Execute. Sounds pretty strong. There's no base or auto attacks. Cool, low cooldowns are needed. Damn. Executes hardest. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And this is a nice little combo, too. Knock back so people can't get out of it. Some of the buffs you get from these low cooldowns are nuts. 50% crit, by the way. Dots can crit. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Interesting. That's pretty nuts. I think we missed some rangers, but we got, we got most of them. I was only missing a couple rangers. All right, healing stance. What everyone's talking about. I'm gonna try not to give too many opinions on the healing stance because uh, I'm not as experienced in paladin healing as that's my least experienced area. So we'll go into this with an open mind. Healing beacon. I'm gonna trigger all the healing paladins I know. Seven second cooldown. Two second cast. Heals up to 10 allies around you. All right, so we have access to a AOE heal. Okay, healing brilliance, heals an ally, health points. Okay, straight up hard cast. So we got holy light or whatever you want to, well, sorry. I'm comparing it to a different game. AOE heal, hard cast, long heal, healing grace, heal the target, hot. Okay, seems like okay. I, I'd like the hot to be probably up here. Oh, look at that, it's over there, okay. I'll go through these and I'll talk about it. Uh, oh, hot right here, okay. All right, sacrificial plea. This is your big boy, right? Spam and you hurt yourself. 
Yeah, okay, so while you channel this, you take damage, but you do a ton of healing. This is your, like, super big heal. It looks like it's a combo starter down here, too, so, okay. Seems okay so far. Healing Grace, instant cast, hot. Good to go. Um, healing Light, 1.5 second heal. Okay. Awareness, you have a 40% chance of using Healing Light the next skill in the chain immediately. Okay, so basically this is kind of silly, but seven second cooldown on this is kind of weird. I feel like this is supposed to be like your rejuvenation kind of. This I feel like this shouldn't have a cooldown. You do this, this, and then you pop this and it's a 40% chance for this combo to appear. Healing Brilliance, this is your heavy heal. Awareness, you have a 40% chance of using beacon beacon of healing the first active skill immediately hmm um well we have healing grace and healing beacon it's a little uh interesting Uh, no, not mage yet. Healing Grace is garbage on JP. Oh, the hot. Full takes of it heals half of a healing brilliance. Only good to proc you instant cast passive. Okay. <laughs> Almost healing. I think it means healing beacon. You think it's this one? Okay. Healing pally is pretty shit, my dude. Uh, we've got Blessing. Applies Blessing effect to all allies. Increases healing output by 15% when a paladin heals a target under Blessing. Doesn't have a duration, so probably pretty long. Oracle, for a certain duration. Reduce damage paladin takes by 20%. This effect does not stack. And its duration will be increased by 2 seconds with a successful block or resist. The duration increasing effect will be activated only once in every three seconds. Reduces damage the Paladin takes by 20%. It doesn't say what the base duration is. It's a 15 second cooldown, but it doesn't say what the base duration is. Okay. And you can only like get the two plus two seconds every three seconds. Immediately restore 50 mana, 10 second cooldown. Crit again, 10 second cooldown. He's going to order top. Yeah, so I'll be going up here. These are next. What sub get you on Bless? They were, said they were going to release it, I think, within 24 hours yesterday. I don't know if that what people were joking about that or if that was true. <laughs> Not anymore. Sacrificial plea. This is your big uh, AoE heal where you sacrifice health. Healing Brilliance, this is your heavy heal. Healing Brilliance, Healing Brilliance. They're really pushing this heavy heal, huh? You don't really get to spam Healing Light very much. I healed uh, for quite a while uh, in other games. And it seems you don't have access to something like a, like a, like a shitty little heal. You know what I mean? Like Healing Light is your kind of... I'm not saying it's bad, but it's like your little dinky heal. Not dinky, but you just kind of healing light, healing light. Kind of like spot heal with healing light. And you don't really look like you have anything to spot heal with. I guess Sacrificial Plea is your spot heal and you hope you don't kill yourself. Um, they're really pushing healing, healing Brilliance though. I feel like this was made by someone that's, I don't want to say never healed before, but doesn't really understand like, Triage healing, which I feel like this game has a lot of. Retribution. Uh, this is the same thing as before. One second cast. Deals damage or heals an ally. Healing light. Alright, so I guess this is your spot healing section. As close as you're going to get. One second cast. And then a seven second window of 1.5, 1.5. So this is as close as you're going to get to being able to spot heal. I guess. I guess, oh, you get a DPS combo in the healing stance as well. Is this final version of your document? Yeah, it's in, uh, I'll put it in chat. So yeah, all the healing billions cost different manas too. 15, 20, 11. <laughs> I don't, okay. 
All right, I guess. Uh, buffs. Blessing, same thing. Protection applies a shield that absorbs damage. This is, I guess, a 15 second cooldown. Crusader's Will absorbs enemies' spell restore. Absorbs the enemy spell, restores Paladin's vitality, so health, and restores mana by 10%. This can only be used when the spell cast by enemy. Oh, okay. So, and then Benevolence temporarily increases Paladin's ability power. So that's like your spell power. Okay. I feel like there's just not enough skills for healing. Because on Paladin, all their third combos are, are this. And then they don't even have a third chain. I feel like they ran out of time with Paladin. DPS works. DPS looks even better than JP, but I feel like they just kind of ran out of time on Paladin and just said, uh, 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 but yeah, so I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm going over all the class skills. So if you want to check out another class, go on over there. I'll have this spreadsheet down below. Feel free to leave any comments. Let me know how you feel about the classes and uh, if I did anything wrong or what you want to see out of the class. So, see you guys later. Hating on Pally? Hell no, dude. I'm not hating on Pally. I just think the person.